Hey y'all, Jesse Peterson here with Let's Make Art. I'm a mixed media artist and I love art journaling and I love sharing projects in my art journal with you. And today I have a fun project and also Keenan's here. Hello. He's our cameraman, hype man, art cheerleader. Yes, I'm here for the things. Fairy art mother, no, just kidding. Very, <laughs> fairy art mother, yes. <laughs> yeah, I should have an outfit. <laughs> oh man, we could get crazy with this. Um, our theme that we're going to be working in this month is Wabi Sabi, and I'm so excited to be um, working in this theme and uh, share these projects with you. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about our theme first. Okay, what's Wabi Sabi? That's what I tell you. I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> Originating in Japan, the idea of Wabi Sabi celebrates the weather, blah, 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 the weathered, the imperfect, and honors impermanence. I like that I said that sentence imperfectly, right? That's so, that's so imperfect. <laughs> I didn't do that on purpose. Uh, this month, we will explore prompts to dig deep into these ideas. The supplies included will help us build texture and achieve some grounding colors of rich rusts and beautiful blue-greens. As we create with this theme in mind, we hope you'll find joy in making imperfect art while making peace with our very human and transitory experience. That is lovely. Thank you. You're welcome. So I'm excited, and I'm going to tell you about the supplies that we'll be using for all of these projects, and then I'll get into the actual project that we're doing today, which is this one, Imperfect uh. Textures. Excited. Okay, so we're gonna use uh, Dino Wakely me, uh, mixed media acrylic paint. This is marine. Well, I'll dispense this in a minute, but marine. It's kind of this just really pretty blue with a tint of green. I mean, just what you think marine should look like. And then we have cheddar, which I think kind of looks like macaroni and cheese a little bit. And we have fuchsia, apricot, and then we're also gonna be using white gesso to build some textures on our paper. And another fun thing that we're going to be using is this <clears throat> monolith 4B um, pencil, and it's water soluble. Now, if you've been around hanging out with us for a little bit, you might have seen me use this Lyra pencil, which is also a water soluble one. I um, introduced it in the beginner series. This pencil is very similar to that, except for it's a 4B, so it's not quite as soft as this, so it doesn't get as dark. Um, but I like because um, I can get a little more detail with it. So these are just fun things to play around with and experiment with, but I'm hoping that you'll enjoy this pencil. It's a great pencil. Um, some other things that you should have handy, of course, is your prompt card, your technique card for this project, some collage paper. This is our collage paper that we did this month. I'm so excited. I love, love these rusty. Love collage paper. Thank you. Rusty textures. I oh, like I like how that feather kind of looks like it's actually on the page. Thanks. I love that feather. Okay, so those are that. Um, and then if you want to have an X-Acto knife handy to cut or scissors, that's great. Sometimes I like to have a ruler if I want to cut straight lines. Um, I like to have a palette knife for my Yes Paste. You guys get this in the box. I'm going to just go for the big jar today. and. Um, it's just this is a really great thing to have around mm -hmm. and then That's when you're true. using the gesso i'd like to have another palette knife just so i got one for just one for gesso and one for yes paste um but it's not like important you can wash them and go back and forth i'm just lazy so oh, okay well, <laughs> at least you're honest <laughs> all right so those are the supplies i will be using this month in this um theme and i think we're probably going to use all of those supplies in this project so i'm not going to go back through all of that because these are, those are the supplies for the project. Nice. Okay, so let's see, what do I wanna do first? I was thinking, I think my instructions, like if you follow along with the techniques, says to cut out the paper, but I'm actually gonna put the gesso on there first, so it'll give us a chance for the paper to dry, and then mm. we can cut while we're waiting for it to dry. Okay, I like that. Okay, all right, so we'll set aside our project. I'm really excited about this one. And if you can read that on the camera, it says there's beauty and simplicity. Oh. Oh, I know. So, um, we got to read the prompt for the project. Okay. And set an intention still. Perfect. And I forgot my journal clips, but I think we'll be okay. Okay, so the prompt for this one, this project, is also about imperfection. It says, pop culture often celebrates flawless beauty and perfection, where Wabi Sabi celebrates the imperfect, worn, or unfinished. Being per imperfect is a natural part of existing. So let's try finding beauty in imperfection. Even when petals have flaws, all you see is a beautiful flower. How can you apply this idea to your art making process? Capture our ideas in your journal. 
so I just like the idea that we can kind of decide that we don't have to accept like pop culture's definition of beauty and we can kind of settle into this more wabi-sabi mindset of um, celebrating the imperfect. And what I like about this is that there's these just fun textures and whatnot in there that I think we're going to have a lot of fun with. So let's get, oh, I was going to say let's get into it, but oh. I want to set an intention. When I set an intention, it's usually just to like claim this moment. Like you've taken the time to set a time to be creative with us, which we're so grateful. Thank you for being here. Um, and so just take a deep breath with me. That kind of resets our body to say that we're about to do something, you know, that is we enjoy. So let's take a deep breath. It's like roll your shoulders. And I think it would be appropriate to set an intention around um, our prompt today, which is let's find the beauty in imperfection. So as you're creating this, don't, don't get stressy about making it just like I've made it or just kind of let, let it, let, let it flow, you know, let it flow, <laughs> let it flow. I love it. Okay. So I'm going to start out putting some gesso on my palette and this is a gesso that comes in this little one, one fluid ounce bottle, which is so great to carry around with your art journal. I'm going to get some on my palette knife like that. I'm just going to start smearing it around y'all. Maybe that's out of the way. And I like the idea of almost kind of making a little sort of frame with this. Now you can put it on your palette or you can just put it right straight on your paper if you like. It's kind of fun too. I think I've inadvertently become one with Wabi Sabi throughout my life. Really? Tell yes. me more. So I was just thinking about why I love sketched art. Mm -hmm. And I've even said before, I love unfinished art because it's so... I think maybe it's like a potential for, for something to grow into something more. Oh, that's do you, deep. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So I think that I already really appreciate Wabi Sabi because I've been trying to find beauty in all the things regardless of them being finished anyway. Yeah, and I feel like your pretty like chill yeah. personality kind of explains that you already embody the Wabi Sabi sort of outlook. Yeah. yeah. I'm just less chill during sports. That's fair. That's that's normal. That's how my husband is too. <laughs> yes, yes he is. <laughs> okay, so I'm just building up textures, just kind of having fun. I mean, sometimes I just like sliding just around on my paper for a while. It's just fun to do. It's like butter. <laughs> yeah, it's just. Just not as tasty. Well, yeah, I don't. Doesn't I don't. go well in on toast or anything, you know. <laughs> okay. So, uh, can you see this? Or like the yeah. white on the paper showing up pretty yeah, good? Yeah, yeah, it's very shiny while it's wet. Okay. So that line, you know, I think that's kind of cool. I want it to stay like that. So I'm I gonna, do too. I'm a big fan. Big fan of that line, and then yeah. you can kind of use the palette knife to kind of push down, get some other kind of textures. Just, I'm just kind of patting it, I guess. You know what would be cool? What? Is if you try maybe like a stamp in this too. Yeah, you could try that. That'd be neat, just like a, a specific shape that you want on in the gesso. Yeah, we did, we did a little bit of that, um, kind of messing with the gesso to get a certain like shape in May. You remember when we did that moon with the swan? Oh, yes. It's kind of fun. So you could check out that tutorial. I could do this all day long, but you know, the gesso is going to dry eventually. <laughs> Only if you let it. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, you could put, keep putting gesso on there. That is a true story. But then your page would be quite heavy. Yeah, that's true. Okay, I'm starting to like that. Mm. It's getting a little stickier so I can tell that it's starting to dry more. All right, I think it's good, that's good. I'm liking that, all right. Um, you can let this dry for a little bit and move on to cutting the paper and then if it's still wet, we'll try to speed it up with the heat again. All right, 
So I have this background texture behind this photo that's kind of this little rusty door. So I'm gonna cut this out first and kind of find the placement on my page for that. Using my ruler, I love rusty stuff. Like, <laughs> so maybe I'm- Like rusty trucks. And yeah, I think they're so cool. Like They look good, it's like a classic farm look. Right, when we drive around Missouri and we find some like old dilapidated barn, I just imagine the years that it took to weather it and the stories that might be there. I mean, I get really excited <laughs> about cool. textures and rust and I don't know, I think it's cool. And it's cool that it hasn't been knocked down by all the powerful wind slash tornadoes that go through here. Man, and there's been a lot of wind lately. My car was like all over the road yesterday. Yes, there has been. This is like hard just to keep going, keep it in this in the lane because the wind was blowing it. And you definitely don't have to use an exacto knife for this. You can use scissors. I just, I just like my exacto. <laughs> you can do whatever you want. I just changed my blade, so this is cutting really well. I'm liking it. You know, I don't know that I've mentioned that recently. I love this exacto so much. This blade is great. Um, because it has like a little storage thing back here to put. So I always have some fresh blades to change out when I need. Isn't that cool? That is cool. It's a convenient storage space. Yes. Have always you thought got about trying to fit snacks in there? I mean, maybe Tic Tacs. Ooh. Tic Tacs could fit in there. There's some Tic Tacs here. Whoops, I loosened it too much when I did that and it came right out. This is a convenient learning section. <laughs> I don't think that I and put it all. And today we're gonna learn how to put in a blade. Yeah, so you unscrew it, thank you, and you just slide it in here and it has these little like pinchers, like a clamp. Ah, the old pinchers. <laughs> okay. I'm familiar with the old pinchers. And then you just keep turning it until it's nice and tight. Wow. But I think my grip is turning with my blade, so let's mm. see. Yeah, now it's good. Be cautious with your blade, it is sharp and it could get you if you're not careful. It is very sharp. And this image. I just love this flower girl. I don't know, I just love it. That's not the name of the picture, that's her first name, flower girl. Okay, I'm into it. Her friends call her FG. All right, FG on the IG? Her street name is FG Fitty. <laughs> She sells hope and imperfect drawings. I like it. And cupcakes. You know, I always get a little nervous when I first start doing a tutorial and then when I start actually making the art, I always calm down. It's so funny. I just notice like I'm like feeling calm. And I think it's I think it's cool that art can do that. You have been significantly nicer to me since you started doing <laughs> art. <laughs> Don't let him pull ya. <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. Okay, so I think I'm just gonna trim the sides of this just like a little bit, and then it will fit the page. I think that's what I did last time, so that's what I'm gonna do. Because I want it to be able to see my edges on there still. So. so I'll just bring that in a little bit more. Have you seen photography where someone takes a picture using a reflection and they blend the two fo the, the sections of the photos together and it looks like, I can't explain it very well. They take one picture of a cityscape and then they take a picture of a reflection and they put the cityscape in the reflection but it looks like one giant picture. Oh. That's what I'm picturing for Flower Girl right now. Hmm. Excuse me, FG Fitty. <laughs> I think that I can picture what you're talking about. But I'll, and now I'll I'm find trying to, one and I'll show I'm you. I'm trying to picture her doing that and I can't. Okay. And you don't have to use this way. If you got an idea for this rusty door or something else, and you do that. This is your thing, right? All right. Let's see. I don't think that my gesso is dry. And I think that I want my border of gesso to go out a little bit more now that I'm looking at this. So it's a great opportunity to put more gesso on. <laughs> I'm not sad about it. Okay, just 
a little bit here and there. Oh yeah, this is gonna be good. I just love texture. It's so fun. You know what I also think of when I think of imperfect art? Hmm. Kids' drawings. Oh my gosh, yeah. So much so much heart in them. They're so happy with their results. It's true. It makes you love it. And they're perfect. So Yeah, they're already perfect just the way they are. Yeah. And so are you when you think about it, like so are we. Hmm. We're always evolving and growing as people and becoming something new. And we can be okay with where we are and know that nothing's permanent. I mean, that's this whole impermanence sort of idea. I like that. Okay, seriously, I could do this forever, but for your sake, I'm going to stop. <laughs> this is so fun. It's just so fun to play in. All right. Now I've been trying out some different heat guns, things to dry your artwork with, and I'm really liking this one, so I'm going to try this. Looks like a hair dryer. Well, and I'm hoping it's not as loud for a tutorial. It's, like, it doesn't, it okay? it's not as loud at all. Can you still hear me over it when I'm talking? Yes. Great. So I have a more powerful one, but it uh, blows all the stuff on my desk too. So. <laughs> <laughs> this one is like plenty heat without being like too much. And it's cute. It's a cute little guy. <laughs> it's a cute little guy. And I don't think that this is gonna like kill our breakers like no, that one time. It's not that powerful. If y'all been with us for a long time, Keenan can tell you what happened. <laughs> so I think it was a live actually. That was the first one. Yeah, it was, was it your live? Uh, this first one I was on with Sarah maybe. Yeah, I think so. And uh, we, we went to dry something and we plugged it into one of our power strips and it shut everything <laughs> off. It shut the sling off, which is our controller for all of our cameras. The lights. Our lights shut off. Our A couple of our cameras shut off. It was... The internet connection. Yeah. Like the was, whole video went down. It was quite the ordeal. But we rebooted and we uh, flipped a breaker and we we're good to go. We prevailed. We've prevailed. <laughs> We've become stronger. That moment was imperfect. Yes, it was. And we learned that we had to grow somehow, and that was it. And now we have a story to tell. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. That's the other great part about things imperfect. Yeah. If you break something or unfinish something, you have something to look forward to to complete, and you have a great story, an experience. Okay, one thing I like to do is just dry the back side of the paper because that kind of keeps it from bowing as much. But this is this paper is doing pretty good. I love this paper in this journal. It's so great. Okay. I think that's doing looking good. Now, if only I had a journal clip back here. <laughs> It'll be all right. Maybe I'll just like hold the paper like this since I don't have a clip. Is that still in a good spot for the camera? Yep. All right. If you actually, if you want to bring it down, if you a little bit to the bottom of your, your mat there, yeah, that's good. Okay. I just need this page to stay under that. All right. Gotcha. Those clips are handy. <laughs> so if you have a clip, use that. I'm going to mix some color now. So I've got the cheddar and the fuchsia. I'm going to use my round eight brush for this. So grab your brush and I'm going to use a little bit of marine. And I might need that apricot too. We're just going to do all the things y'all, all the things. Um, I said round eight, but I meant my half inch Mavis. <laughs> Sorry. Mavis. Oh, Mavis. So I'm going to mix a little bit of this yellow with the fuchsia to get kind of like an orangey color. I love that color. Oh, can you see the colors? Yes. Okay, then I'm going to mix some of this apricot with it. Your improvised clip is in a great spot, but it's let go of your paper. It's because I was trying to move the 
All right. Got so it. this is kind of a buttery, warm, I don't know, lovely color. I don't know how to describe this color. I'm gonna put a little more apricot in there. Yeah, I'm liking that. Even just mixing colors and just, ugh, I love it. Okay, got a little bit more water on there too. So I'm just gonna come in here and add that color in. Some places, just kind of like a border. I'm liking that. Let's come in here. Got a lot of paint on my brush. And I think I want more apricot. I'm just gonna come back in here with some apricot too. That is a soft color and I'm a big fan. It's just, it's just nice. I, I'm liking it. Thank you. I think it makes me think of a Lego person's head. Oh, like a, yeah, like a, someone's skin tone maybe mm -hmm. a little. Mm -hmm. Okay, I want to show you something fun. Since the gesso is dry and we're putting acrylic paint on top of it, if you find some spots are too dark, you can take your um, paper towel and wipe away. See that? Oh, that's cool. So, and that kind of helps create some texture too. It's kind of fun. I kind of like doing that. That is cool. So, to soften it more, if you're liking that softer kind of feeling, it's kind of nice. Oh yeah, liking that. Yeah, see how that texture from the gesso starts to kind of yes. show too? You know what would be cool? What? If you do, a, a, now this is just in my brain, you do not have to do this, but if you use the paper towel to create more texture mm -hmm. by applying the paint on the bottom part with the paper towel. Yeah. That would be neat. You can do that. I think you should try that in your art journal. Okay. Well. And I might be able to try that here. I, I, was, on, I was on a different path with my brain so I'm, yeah, follow your I'm brain gonna pause path. that thought and I want to bring in this rust texture that's on the paper and kind of draw your attention to like there's some orange in there there's some purples mm. like um, th these rust textures really can vary a lot so have fun mixing your color to kind of get that so I got kind of a mustardy color now I'm gonna rinse my brush and I'm gonna want some more of this sort of fuchsia raspberry-ish color around that. Yeah, let's see. Kind of right in there, like that. But then I'm gonna use my paper towel and rub it back. Um, yeah, if you just, like Keenan was saying, like if you, I'm gonna show you, if you do like this, then you're gonna get that texture of the paper towel, you see that? Yes. So you could get that if that's what you're going for. I'm, I'm going to just show you that and then I'll probably just blend it, but you can totally do that if you're into it. Yeah, I like that. I like those paper towels. <laughs> okay, let's see. I think that it's looking cool. I'm just gonna get some overall color on here and then I'm gonna go back and do some dark because I wanna see it next to my picture. So now I think I want to make some purple. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my fuchsia and I'm going to mix it with my marine. Oh yeah, it's a pretty purple. And I'm just going to put the titch of yellow in there to kind of neutralize it. See how it kind of went to a little gray? Yeah. Kind of into that. So I'm going to put some of that down here. And again, that's kind of dark. So I'm going to wipe it back with my paper towel and then I'll build up that. Oh, look how you can see that gesso texture with the purple like so nicely. So good. It also kind of makes me think of a popsicle and that sounds yummy. <laughs> so th this kind of, when you wipe it away, it kind of just gives it more of a stain than like a painted on look. So I want you to play with that, like cool. staining versus painting and kind of seeing what you, you're liking about that process. I didn't realize that that corner on the finished one was purple. I thought it was a like a black. There's a little purple in there. I like it. Big fan. Let's do it. Okay, now this 
middle stuff is probably not going to be seen because we're going to put our photo on there, but that doesn't mean I can't have fun creating it anyway. <laughs> That's true. So. I like how your gesso turned out in the middle too. Yeah, it's so fun. Those little like back and forth strokes. Kind of makes me think of a crinkled newspaper. Oh, yeah. Without words. So crinkled paper. Hmm. Okay, I'm liking that. So I'm gonna let that dry for a second. Well, I don't have to let it dry, I can do this. Kind of smear that a little bit more. Yeah, it's cool. I like it. It's not perfect. All right, well, it's a little bit wet right there. Okay, so now you can get your yes paste out and a palette knife. So I recommend this packet of palette knives that has a whole bunch of different ones. And I hardly ever use this big fat guy, so I thought that one might be fun to try with my yes paste today. <laughs> We're gonna call him Blockhead. Ooh, Blockhead. <laughs> yeah. He makes me think of the, the movie Soul. Oh yeah. I love that movie. I got my paper a little wet because there was water there, but that's all right. It's still gonna be cool. So this yes paste goes a long way. So you just put a little bit on there and you almost like just scrape it off. And as you're scraping it off, you smooth it around. And this like palette is really great for that. I haven't really used this one that much. I just thought, hey, maybe I should try that one. And look at us, we're doing new things. And it's doing, um, it's great. I love new things. <laughs> okay, feeling good about the amount of yes paste I have on there and that little droplet of water on my photo. It's no big deal. Oh, actually, I want to put this one down first. I forgot. Let's see, how, how far did I put down? Did I put that? So you can put this one in about, I don't know, what is that, an inch from the bottom? Uh, actually, you can push it up a little bit. There you go. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, it's like an inch. All right, let's put this, get this one some, oh, yes, paste is sticking up. I'm doing good things here, that's fine. <laughs> doing good things. <laughs> Making imperfect decisions. <laughs> Blockhead's there to help. Yeah, this is really nice to smooth this out. How come I haven't done this before? What? Is that in a kit with other knives? Yeah, there's like a little packet of, um, maybe I'll show those on our next lawn yup, like Ooh, the yeah. whole packet of palette knives. And they're cheap. They're not very expensive. But very useful. Yes. I mean, you basically just patched a wall there. That's a that's a life skill you can use too. Oh, like like how you do drywall? Is that what you mean? Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Very nice. Oh yeah, I'm into it. <laughs> Up next, we'll teach you how to patch a wall. All right, I'm not sure that I'm an expert on that. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe Keenan can teach you that. I don't know. <laughs> Okay, so this one's already ready to go. And I'm just gonna push the, I'm just thinking about the air around it. So it's gonna like frame my photo, you know? Oh, I like how you said air around it. Like right there. Maybe. Give it some breathing room. Yeah, so I'm just thinking like this space here and here is kind of similar. Oh, well, I probably need to bring it down a little bit to really be true to that, but there you go. Nice. I'm using random other fingers because my first two fingers are sticky now. So if you wonder why I do that, that's why. Your ring fingers are like, finally, it's our time to shine. <laughs> the pinky is getting in there. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, so last step. This, I got a little just a uh, yes case on the front, but that's okay. We'll just dry it really fast. That's a funny joke concept. Oh. What's that? <laughs> Your fingers have been competing their whole lives for attention. <laughs> Pointer just gets all the attention. <laughs> all of it. Okay, I'm just trying to get my hands unsticky with the water here. All right, yeah, so this is coming to life already. Just got a couple more steps. So one thing that I love to do is add a little bit of detail with this pencil. So I'm gonna just kind of do some shading around here, maybe down here. And then when you wet it, it will, here, let's just 
you could use a brush, but I kind of use like my finger. It kind of gives you a, a sort of weathered, oh, that's smeary, cool. awesome goodness. I don't know. I'm, I'm really into it. Do you maybe want to push that up to the right towards your Yes Paste con container? I would love to do that. Thank you. So just, you know, just do a little darken shading around here. And then make sure my brush is clean. My water right now is just such a gorgeous color. <laughs> Makes me think of agave juice. Yeah, like some kind of tropical juice drink yeah. you get on the beach or something. Okay, okay. I don't know. Minus something. the sand. I know that you don't like sand, but there's like fruity awesome drinks to be had in those tropical places where they have yummy fruit that's fresh. I like dirt and, <laughs> and mud. <laughs> okay. So, <laughs> sorry, my brain was like ready to think about the next thing. I wasn't being like, okay. Okay. Okay, Keenan. <laughs> Next. <like> that. <laughs> you guys, multitasking is hard. <laughs> it is. Okay. Uh, I'm going to just put a little bit right here just for fun. She has pretty good posture. Yeah. Mm. This came out different than that one. That's, it's all good. It's like whatever. I kind of like the idea of having a little bit here to kind of frame it. Though. So we can add a little bit. Just some little touches. That's what my daughter Lois says when she's making art. She's gonna add a little touches. A little touches. <laughs> That's cool. The only thing we can duplicate consistently, perfectly, is imperfection. Mm -hmm. It's true. That's deep. Thank you. I just thought of that. I'm gonna say that's a quote from Anon, and everyone can use it. <laughs> Okay, I just needed to get that one little piece of paper more glued down. Oh, this corner right here didn't get too much either. I got, I was like, I was so excited about talking about doing it, but I didn't get the corners. Okay, so the next step is going to be, well, I'm gonna put Jessa right on the top of this and we'll do some journaling and we'll almost be done here. Ooh, ooh, and let's see, I'm gonna reach down here for, I did think that I had brought a round eight brush with me but I might not have. A round eight brush would be ideal for this. I am going to show you how to do this with the half inch mop because I didn't bring my round eight down here to the studio. It's still on my desk upstairs. It's gonna be okay. It's not a round eight brush sitting over there, is there? Let me look. Oh yeah, there is one. It's not my mixed media brush, but there is a round eight. Can you, can you have that? Is it this one? Yeah, I'll take that one. All right, I'm gonna throw it at you. Oh, don't throw it. Wait, this is a 10. Okay, well, I mean, whatever you got. What's that one right there? In the blue cup on Ooh, this, this side. This one's a liner out. six. No. <laughs> you guys, it's fine. We have so many brushes here. Yeah, just give me that round 10. That's fine. Round I'll use 10? It. This yeah. is from the kids' era? No. Oh, what did I catch? Catch. Okay. What? You, use, you guys know which one I use. I just forgot to bring it down here. Okay, so I'm just going to take it and I'm going to. Bring my gesso across my image and across that texture and all the way out. I'm gonna do it again. Man, right that's so there. cool. I thought those were stickers. What do you mean? Well, I didn't know that was those were white lines of gesso. Oh yeah. That's awesome. Can you maybe uh, tell us again what that is, gesso? Oh yeah, this these white lines right here are gesso. Nice, perfect. I was just checking. <laughs> That's so cool. Yeah, I just thought we can you can paint over an image sometimes too, like do some cool stuff. The gesso is great for that. Yay. And then I just need this to dry for a second and we can do our journaling on here. Let's see. Just wanna be a little bit more opaque so my words turn out. Famous quotes. I need this to dry for a second. Immediately adds more paint. <laughs> you do it every time, don't <laughs> It's like when you're taking a test and they're like, pencils up! I'm like, oh no! No, no you didn't mean that. <laughs> Just one more thing, I gotta, yeah, whatever. All right. 
I mean, I like having this right here. Yeah, that's handy. <laughs> It would have been really nice when it was super cold outside. Right? I mean, it's it's not too cold today. No, it's nice. Okay, and you can write anything you want on here. I'm gonna write there's beauty and simplicity. Oh, it's not dry yet. <laughs> not Pro quite tip, dry. wait for it to dry. <laughs> <laughs> Don't add more gesso. No, because it will take longer to dry. <laughs> Um, so get a snack maybe while it's drying. Okay, okay. What, um, what kind of snack you got today, Keenan? Peanut butter crispy bites. Mm. They have a thin layer of chocolate on top. Just a little, little, little tiny thin, thin layer. It's from Casey's. And that's our gas station that we have around oh, around these parts. I love Casey's. There's a lot of them yes. nearby. We've got good pizza. I just love this. I don't think I... I really just saying the praises of this pencil and I'm just gonna do some more shading down here while I'm waiting for that just to dry. Okay. Because it's me. This, this is what I do. <laughs> oh, I just love that we have people painting and creating with us and thinking about not accepting everybody thinking everything needs to be perfect all the time. I just, I just love that. I love that we're doing this. Me too. Oh yeah, see, just that little, little bit of something there. I like it. That looks good. It's kind of. I just love water soluble graphite. It's so neat. I was gonna say I really liked that other graphite pencil you showed earlier. Oh, this one. I've used that in the past. Yeah, I like. Yeah, that this a lot. one can be a little, a little more dark. So I'll show you that one too. See, it's not as subtle. Yeah. But I, you can blend it if you want, so it's not too crazy. So if you already have that on hand, you can totally use that. But this is just, just fun. Yeah. And this one's like a little easier. Like I could not write there's beauty and simplicity mm. on that with this. So you got a fine point and a dull softer, point. Yeah, softer, um, softer lead and a not quite a got fine it. point. Okay. Let's see if we're ready for this. Oh yeah, it's dry now. Is it working? Mm hmm Nice. Can you write it in a really awkward sitting position? Sure, I would love to do that. I awesome. love being awkward. More awkward. There it is. That's the one. And the fun thing about this is if you mess up and you don't like how you wrote it. You can gesso right over yeah, it. Yeah, it's like white out. <laughs> <laughs> Not fun. So you can have a fresh start. If it's imperfect and you're not liking it, do it again. We just call that a practice run. Mm -hmm. I kind of rushed this a little bit because Jessa still needs to dry. So yours is going to come out great if you take a snack break. Yeah, that's cool. The word simplicity is a very satisfying word. I was like, am I, am I spelling it right? Or? No, 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 I was just saying it's a very satisfying word. I'm not sure why. So yeah, I, you can read this one a little bit better, but there's beauty and simplicity. So fun to make, so relaxing. Yeah, that's beautiful. So Good job. Bring. Thank you for painting with me, y'all. I love it.
I love that we get to do this together as a community. I love to see what you make. So if you wanna share that on our Facebook group, we have a group that we share stuff and cheer each other on and it's um, Let's Make Art Journals. You can also use that hashtag on Instagram. Um, that's all we got for today. We'll see you next time. Bye.